What's up, LNC fam? Welcome back to another video. I bought myself a new project 2021 BMW 228i Grand Coupe. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the live auction, me picking up the car, repairing, how much I paid for the parts, how much the car came out, and for the final, how much I sold the car. Gonna be very exciting video. Why don't you guys get comfortable, get yourself a drink, a little snack, and enjoy the video. Let's go. I came across this 2021 BMW 228. Car has currently 30,000 miles running drive. This is a clean title vehicle, clean Carfax. And then looking by the pictures, it looks like somebody just took the front bumper apart and the headlight. If you look at the hood and the fender, it looks perfect. Reinforcement looks perfect. Right side headlight is there, it looks perfect as well. If we look around the back, back end is perfect. And then they put some in the notes that it says uh, missing uh, front bumper, missing grill, headlight, couple of curb rushes, and check engine light is on. Check engine light is on because the bumper is disconnected. And then if we look inside of the car, there's the front bumper and there's the headlight in the trunks. Might be good, might be damaged. If they put missing, that means it's damaged and we cannot reuse it anymore so we just gonna have to get a new bumper grill and a headlight and we'll just recondition the wheel if everything goes well we should be able to buy it my max bid going to be around fifteen thousand. i don't want to pay too much for it because parts are pretty expensive live auction starts right now so wish me luck Yes, it looks like we got ourselves a new build, $15,250, I think that's a pretty good deal for this car. Let's go get a cashier's check and let's go pick up our new build, let's go! It's been raining all week, hopefully it's not gonna rain tomorrow when we go pick up the car and we'll be taking good old S class, I got some new wheels. Just pulled up to the bank. Let's go get our cashier's check. Good old Wallace Fargo. Just got back from the bank and we got our cashier's check. Money, money, money. And tomorrow we'll go first thing in the morning and pick up the car. I believe they're open like at seven. So we'll go first thing. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. It's the next morning, time to go and pick up our new build. I got the truck and trailer all hooked up and we're ready to go. Let's just double check, make sure everything is good. The rams don't fall off. Okay. We're ready to go. Okay, we just got in here, so now we gotta find our car. Black BMW. That should be my car right there. Let's go check out the VIN number. Yep, that's my car. I see the bumper inside. <laughs> Let's see what's going on with it. Why they take everything apart? Everything looks perfect up here. Here's the bumper. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I like it. So let's see what happened. It looks like the bumper melted. 
Oh, wow. So it was parked next to a fires and then it melted the bumper. Oh, I haven't seen this before. Let's see the headlight. The headlight is melted too. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Well, at least we got the computer and yeah all the modules are here fog lights are okay this one's a little melted wow that's crazy this is first time i'm seeing this kind of damage very very interesting hopefully this car drives <laughs> watch it doesn't even start okay no key okay let me go find the key for this car Hood got a little melted. Not melted, but the paint, so we have to repaint the hood. This light might be okay. Okay, I like it. Let's go find the key and then uh, we'll load this bad boy up and head to the shop. Look at this Mercedes. Mm, I like it. S class. Check out this BMW, somebody stripped it completely, wow. That's crazy. Nothing left of it. Just the shell and back seats. Wow, that's crazy. I guess this is a perfect car to buy a flood car and maybe transfer some of the Guts, or I don't know, or a rollover. I got the keys, keys, keys to success. Yeah, let's try to crank this bad boy. Hopefully, it starts. Starts like a champ. I'm excited! So yeah, everything else is perfect. Just the bumper got melted a little bit. Bumper and headlight. And little paint on the hood. So we're gonna repaint the hood. Get a new uh, bumper and the headlight. And car is ready to go. Clean title, clean Carfax. No accident. Good tires as well. Yeah, perfect. Let's actually probably remove the bumper out of the car because that kind of drives me nuts. <laughs> I'm that kind of a guy, paranoid. But yeah, look, crazy. Just melted the whole bumper. I've got a brake light is on for some reason. And check engine, check engine because of the front bumper being removed. But brake, I'm not sure why. Just gonna have to scan the car and figure it out. Uh, gonna have to do the race car driver status. That's the only way to get out. Super, I like it. Very, very nice car, I'm excited. Should be able to make a couple of dollars. That's it, just secured the car. All four corners. Now we're ready to head back to the shop. Before we leave, I wanna check out this Porsche. It brought 36,000, but they didn't sell it. Maybe we'll buy it next time. It said they had previous repairs on the door. But I don't see it, just a scratch. Let's see, there's a key. Yeah, 
Yeah, it doesn't start. I don't like cars with no damages. I like cars when you see damages. That means car is good. But when the car is perfect and it's at the auction, that means something sketchy might be going on. We buy cars with damage only. Okay, there's one more car that caught my attention. This guy might be a pretty good car as well. GT. So missing front crush bar. Some suspension damage. Engine seems to be there. Hood. There's some parts inside. Obviously somebody already stole some headlights put crappy ones that's definitely not the original headlight a pretty good car i like this one wow very very nice so we'll keep an eye out for this one too maybe gonna be our next candidate Ooh, check out this S class. What's wrong with this bad boy? Wow, it smells like marijuana like crazy in here. Damn. It reeks like weed. Yeah, good luck selling this car with that smell. Well, it looks pretty good. Let's head back to the shop. I think we saw enough of the cars. I'll keep my eye on some of the couple of cars up there. We'll see if it goes for a good price. We'll buy it. If not, we move on because we want good deals, only good deals. Have a good one. Just got back to the shop, so we're gonna unload the car and start looking for parts. Oh man, this thing is nice. I love it, smells like cheese. Money, money, money. <laughs> you like, I like. I like it a lot. Just reinstalled the bumper and the headlight, so pretty much this is what the damage looks like. Melted the headlight and the bumper. I'm guessing the car was parked next to a fire, and this is what happened. So perfect damage, I like it. So we're gonna get a used headlight, and I'm gonna try to find a complete a used bumper as well, so we could just replace everything, and we should be as good as new. gonna start looking for parts so first things first what I do as soon as I get to the shop I create a folder and this is where all the paperwork gonna go and all the invoices and then we're gonna jump on carpart.com we're gonna put uh, 2021 BMW 228i from bumper including cover this is a complete assembly we have a basic package so it looks like the bumpers are 1600 bucks complete. There's one for 700, but I think it's missing some of the grills. So that's uh, option number one. Okay, not too bad. Let's check M bumper. Nothing really, a new bumper, just a cover. We need a complete assembly. And let's check headlight. So there's one available, call for price. And then there's another one for 1200 bucks. I'm gonna call another junkyard where I usually get parts and see if they have anything and then if not we'll check eBay and then if eBay doesn't have anything we'll call dealer and see how much it's gonna be at the dealer brand new bumper and then we'll make our final decision. 
I'm calling from Lagoon Gill Collision. I got a 2021 BMW uh, 228i. Uh, do you happen okay. to have a complete front bumper for it? Uh, the two door or four door? Uh, four door Grand Coupe. Yeah, I have a Grand Coupe. It's also an M235. Yours is an M package? I think mine is a non M package. Uh, no, the one that I have is the M package. Uh, and it so comes with uh, fog lights, everything complete? Uh, no, it's basically just a cover with the lower grill. Also. Okay, all right. Uh, what about the uh, left side LED uh, headlight? $950 without the computers. Okay, perfect. I'll take it. Thank you very much. We'll see you tomorrow. Sounds good. Thanks, sir. Nice. It looks like we got ourselves a headlight. So now we got to locate a bumper. I'll call a couple other places and see if they have anything available. Taiki, Taiki. Taiki, hey, this is Vlad from uh, Laguna Niguel Collision. What's going on? Hey, do you happen to have a complete bumper <laughs> for 2021 BMW uh, 228i? And, oh, no, it doesn't matter. No, no M package, yeah. Yeah, I got nothing. Nothing? Nothing whatsoever. All right, thank you. Just no luck here. So unfortunately, nothing available used on the front bumper. So it looks like we're gonna have to get everything from the dealer. And plus we get, I believe 25% off. So it should be okay. I think I should get the whole front bumper with everything, maybe around 1300 bucks. So that's not bad. Good price, good price. It's the next day, so yesterday, you guys heard it, we found the light and it's gonna be a bare naked light. So right now I wanna pull the car in. Uh, remove this headlight, cause they're gonna need a core and remove my old computers. I plugged everything in yesterday, so the headlight works perfectly. So yeah, let's pull the car in, remove the headlight and we'll still continue to try to find a used bumper. Maybe we'll get lucky, but that's the plan for now. Let's do this. Just got the BMW inside of the shop. Let's start taking everything apart and we'll go from there. And I also noticed there is a big gash in the tire, so I'm gonna have to get a new tire, unfortunately. Okay, let's remove the bumper. And right now I gotta remove one, two, three computers. We gotta transfer them to the new headlight. And those are very expensive. Boom number two. And number three. That's it, we're ready to go. like my BMW parts just arrived. New bumper and grills. My bumper just arrived. I ended up getting a brand new one from the dealer. That's the new one, that's the old one. Now we could get this over to the paint department. From the fire damage, the headlight got a little melted up top. So hopefully we could fix this. Could go. Little fried as well, so we're gonna have to uh, send it down and primer 
least half of it. Fenders are okay, both fenders are fine. And then for the final, this mirror got a little melted, so I have to do a little body work on it. But other than that, the car looks great. So let's start uh, probably by removing the mural first and then we'll do the hood and then for the final we'll work on the headlight i'm gonna try to send it down and re-clear it and see how it's gonna look that's the process let's do this so right now i'm gonna try to remove the glass and hopefully i could just pop this cover without removing the whole assembly Okay, let's try to pop this out now. Ah, there it goes. So here's the old piece. I just gotta send this down and put a little bit of body filler and we'll respray it. And it's gonna look like brand new. Right now with uh, 320, I'm gonna go over all the areas that got a little uh, fire damage, all the clear coat that got bad, probably gonna go like up to here. And this is where we're gonna put primer. Pretty much the whole front end. So I just hit this area with 320. So this is where we're gonna put primer and then the rest, we're gonna hit it with 600. And I actually wanna remove the hood. It will be a lot easier to prep and to paint. We're gonna paint the hood and bumper separate. We're not gonna paint it on the car. This way we don't have to mask the whole car. It will be a lot easier and faster. So let's do that and we'll wrap everything up. Much better. So now I could go around, prep everything nice, and I don't have to worry about scratching the fenders or any of that stuff. I'm all finished with the hood. Hood is ready for primer. Next, I'm gonna work on this piece, uh, send it down and apply a little bit of body filler. That's it, we're finished with the hood. Everything prepped and ready to go. We could put primer on the hood and this uh, mural cap. I'm gonna give that to Jose, he's gonna put some primer, and for now, I'll start working on the headlight. So next, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove the headlight completely. I don't wanna scratch the fender and we're gonna paint this headlight separate as well. I gotta get this edge really good, but the rest is coming together. All the light melting on top went away. It's nice and smooth. So it looks like we're gonna be able to save the headlight 100%. It will be perfect. After 320, we're gonna hit this with uh, 600, go over it. And then after 600, we'll go with the 1000. So 
so I'm finished with 600 next we're gonna do a thousand and same thing just go over it get rid of all the sending marks And then after a thousand, we're gonna do 1500 uh, wet sanding. And then after 1500, we're gonna do 3000 and same process. And now for the final, we're gonna do 5000. That's it, I'm finished and the uh, headlight is ready to be recleared and it's gonna look like brand new. So this is what it looks like. Supposed to make it very dull looking, but finish. And to see how it's gonna look with the clear, I'm gonna use a quick check. And this is pretty much gonna show me how it's gonna look with the clear coat. Boom, perfect. It looks like a brand new headlight. So this is gonna be pretty much the finished product. Next, I just got the front tire. We gotta replace it. Got a brand new Pirelli to match the rest of the car. And for some reason, this came out of, I don't know what happened, but something happened. So we got a new tire, so we're gonna replace it. Then also we got some curb rash that I gotta fix as well. Just picked up the rim back from the tire shop. Let's install this right now. Got primered, so we're all finished with the hood, ready for paint, hood, bumper, and this little cap. So next, uh, I gotta do rear brakes. They're completely gone. That's why I have a light on the cluster. So we got some rear brakes and sensor. So we're gonna do that next. And then to replace the rear brakes, pretty easy. Just gotta remove a couple bolts right here and it should just come out. And then for the electric brake, I had to use a scanner to release them. So we're all set and ready to go. there pretty much done that's why I got a light yep exactly the same Finished with this side, now let's go do the passenger. Same process. And on this side, we're gonna do the same thing. Gotta remove both of those bolts. And then for the final, replace the sensor. It's bad, I cracked already. That's why we got the light. Easy peasy.
sensor is removed. And here comes the new sensor. That's it, just install my new sensor. Everything is good. And we're done with the brakes. Just gonna put those caps right here and one over here. Boom! Nothing on the cluster, just the check engine, but that's because the front end is disconnected. Looks like we're in business, baby! So I just got my new used uh, headlight. I'm gonna install the modules and check, make sure this headlight works. And if it does, we'll start installing. And I checked my computers on the old light, everything worked. Moment of proof to see if it works. Man, it looks like the angel eyes are not working. They're supposed to be angel eyes, but this one doesn't work. Man, that sucks. Let's turn the blinkers. Blinkers work. Let's turn the headlights off. So yeah, the angel eyes on this one doesn't work. Man, that sucks. Looks like I'm gonna have to find another one. I'm gonna have to return this one and oh, find another one. That sucks. That really sucks, guys. Oh well, stuff happens. We'll look for another one. I called the junkyard to see if they have another one replacement. Unfortunately, they don't. So I'm gonna have to find another one. I called the dealer. Dealer is giving me pretty good price on it. So I think I just might buy it from the dealer. Because I looked up used ones. There's one for a 950, 1000, 11, 11. 990 but that's 2,000 miles away so that's too far so the only local I called this guy but he doesn't have it anymore so this one's not available and the other ones are 1100 I could get one from the dealer for 1300 bucks so this way I don't have to over 200 bucks do the same thing what if it's not working so and I got a couple more plastics coming and we should be done and right now we'll start the painting process Andre is on vacation, so for now, uh, whoever is the OG subscriber and remember Jose from back in the days, he is back, so we can't waste any time since Andre is enjoying his time. Jose came by, he's gonna spray the hood and the bumper, get the BMW back on the road as soon as possible. People missed you, they're like, where is Jose? He's like, he stayed in Laguna. In some cases, the <laughs> he likes Laguna vibe better. So he, to the beach. To the beach, relax. It's not hot at summertime. Yeah, now, now, now it's really cold. Very cold. So yeah, Jose is still at the same location doing his magic. So he's going to do his magic on this one. And we'll take a look at the final product. Oh, wow wow looking good everything got painted last night so now we could start putting the car back together i'm excited let's get everything out of the spray boot and start installing everything on the car and get the car ready for wash and detail let's go
my new headlight just arrived straight from the dealer brand new now we could uh, install the computers and install it and see if it works should be working put this guy right here Now we're ready to start installing. Okay, let's find out if my computers are good. Oh, it works, it works. So it was the bad headlight. And this one's original, always works. Next, I'm gonna put this bumper together. Once again, a lot of pieces, and we'll start installing. Just put the front end completely together and man, it's looking pretty good. Pretty mean looking uh, front end, I would say. Look how aggressive the front end looks. And then here's all the parts that we replace. A front bumper, headlight, fog light got melted. And then this uh, shutter got melted as well. You could see the marks, so I had to get a new one. So we're all finished pretty much. Just gotta put the mirror together and then do complete detail. It's ready to go. Finish with the BMW, next we'll start the washing process. We gotta detail the car inside out and it's ready to go. Got Mr. Christian in the house. He's gonna detail the car. We're gonna do three steps polish. We're gonna make the car look like brand new and it's ready for sale. BMW is washed, detailed, and ready to go. Came out beautiful, like nothing happened. And since this car is a clean title, clean Carfax, I wholesaled it to a local dealer around here. So we're gonna go drop it off together. And once we come back, we'll do a price review. How much this car cost me? Should be fun. Cali rain, coming down hard. Okay, let's go drop off this bad boy.
That's it, just dropped off the BMW. Uh, right now I'm gonna catch a lift back to the shop and we'll do the fun stuff. Find out how much this car ended up costing me and how much I sold this car. I just did a quick dealer to dealer wholesale. Don't have to deal with anybody. Boom, drop it off, get paid and we're good to go. And here is my lift. Hello. Добрый день. Добрый. Наши люди, как дела? Ну, как говорят на Украине, як у гарбуза. Гарбуза росте, курень всихает. Да, есть такое. The moment we've all been waiting for to find out how much this vehicle cost me. I know a lot of you guys been asking, Vlad, please share the numbers. I usually don't like to share the numbers, but today we will. Just for you guys, for my amazing subscribers, we'll do it. So I got the whole folder right here with all the invoices. I uh, bought the car from the auction with the clean title, clean Carfax. I paid $15,880 with uh, all the fees, everything out the door then i called a few junkyards to find the used parts and i found a couple of bumpers with some damage but it was still pretty expensive almost around thousand bucks plus shipping i gotta wait so i was like you know what I'll just buy brand new from the dealer. So brand new complete bumper with all the plastic pieces came out to $1,539.26. And then I ended up finding a used headlight, but unfortunately it did not work. So I returned it and ended up buying a new one from the dealer. It cost me $1,324.20. And then I had to buy a left uh, fog light as well. I was able to find a used one. Used uh, fog light cost me $160. And if you guys remember, uh, one of my tires had little uh, damage, so I had to replace the tire. And I bought a Continental tire to match the rest of them. The tire cost me $178 plus $20 mountain balance total comes out to $198 and then I had to replace rear brakes uh, brakes and sensor cost me $44.78 and then for the final with it the car wash and detail and this is my price only my price because we provide him with a lot of business so he hooked me up on this one it cost me $150 so grand total comes out to $19,296 dollars and 24 cents not bad for a 2021 bmw with clean title and then i end up selling the car to a dealer just quick uh, wholesale i could have got more money if i retail but i don't like to retail because then you have to deal with a bunch of people a bunch of questions why are you selling the car are you original owner what's going on blah 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 and this goes on so i end up selling it a quick wholesale to a dealer and this is how much i got 25,000 exactly i dropped it off that's it i got paid everybody's happy we go and find another build you know so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want to see more videos like that there's a little catch the only thing i ask from you guys if this video gets 20,000 likes will continue doing videos like that on my quick uh, flippers i can't do on all the cars if it's going through insurance it's just too much but on those quick flippers i'll be more than happy to show you guys the whole process and how much everything costs it's all up to you guys 20,000 likes on this video and we'll continue doing that my videos usually get about 40,000 to 100,000 views shouldn't be that hard you get 20,000 likes. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new to this channel and you guys enjoy this kind of content, you know what to do. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next build. Dos vidas!